towards his 65 meter line. Paul Galvin, a sub in the first half. Holding it, looking up. Well, he was thinking of a long ball in, but he had to adjust his thought pattern, I think, to hold possession. There's nothing really on initially. Tomoso Shea now. Killian Young again. Looking away from Alan Brogan, Tomoso Shea. They must have had that ball on the 65 metre line for the last 30 seconds. Finally, Anthony Marr, about to be confronted by Michael Darrow McCauley, kicks it long. Two men in there, Donna, he tried to touch it down for Cooper. And the referee has blown his whistle as uh, Donica Walsh got onto it, chipped it wide anyway. But you know the tactics at this stage, it's to go long inside towards Donaghy and then hoping that the layoff will be good for Cooper to finish. Yeah, but that telepathy that's between Cooper that we've seen so often between Cooper and Donaghy is not active today. They haven't managed to link up with one another as often as they would have liked. Alan Brogan, Cahill now, again running into a lot of challenges and he holds on too long. Kerry quickly taking the free up as far as a recovered Declan O'Sullivan. But it really is a fabled rivalry, this Kerry and Dublin. It stretches all the way back to 1892, and it's still a compelling attraction. Brian Sheehan holding, holding still. Does it carry sufficiently? It does! It's a magnificent point by Brian Sheehan. Beautiful style of play, fabulous technique here. Shrugged off the attentions of a couple of players, then got it back onto the left, central position, and he has pushed Kerry into a one-point lead. Yeah, that's wonderful composure at that time by Sheehan. Looked to be in trouble, looked to have run out of options, but held his nerve, didn't panic, got onto his left foot and shot at an excellent point. Kevin McManaman on, as you can see, and the player who's gone off has uh, been number 10, Paul Flynn. And now Kerry also making a change. Their number 21, Barry John Keane, is coming on in place of Donica Walsh. So alterations being made to the forces as we head in towards the final quarter of this year's All-Ireland Football Final, with Kerry edging it by just a point in a low enough scoring game. But a wonderfully intense battle at the same time. Kevin McManaman, who made such a difference when he came on in the semi-final against Danny Gall. Back from Cullen to McCauley. Everybody's searching for it. Nolan's in there. Finally comes out towards Oid Brosnan. Further back out here as far as Alan Brogan, 45 metres out. In as far as Barry Cowan, he's got a loose man inside. He's got a player inside if he gives it to Kevin McMenamin. And eventually the referee has blown his whistle because the ball was handled on the ground. Kevin McMenamin was just watching here. He was loose for a age here had he been seen by Barry Cowan. It's pleading for the ball when he eventually gets it. The block is executed all right. Well, I'm not sure. It, Where was the it, handle of the well, ball? I didn't see any handling on the ground. I didn't see. Well, that's what the referee was indicating. Oh, maybe there, possibly, but that was that, that was, was inside the small in, rectangle. Yeah, but it was hardly though. intentional. And no. anyway, the referee has given it as a, twin, as a 13 meter free, Martin. Bernard Brogan's kicked it over. Yeah, but a free leg inside the small rectangle. Yeah. it should be a penalty. That's right. It happened in the Cork Kerry match. Right. Mark O'Shea on that occasion. Referee definitely indicated that the ball was the free was given for a ball handled on the ground. So it's a case of where was it handled? I thought looking at the replay there, it was handled inside the small right angle. Referee doesn't have the benefit of that. And the teams are level for the fourth time. We're in the 53rd minute. Brian Sheehan on as far as the substitute Barry John Keane, Darren O'Sullivan. And it runs on beyond the Gooch and Mick Fitzsimons. Who got the last touch there? I think it was a Fitzsimons. It's a 45. Oof. Down went Rory O'Carroll this time. And Kieran Donny is getting very hot under the collar. Yeah, just watch the persistence that time by Cooper. Very clever play. Unlucky maybe from Fitzsimons' point of view to actually have conceded the 45. A little bit of stupidity that time between Donaghy and uh, Rory O'Carroll. <laughs> They've been mouthing all at each other all afternoon, and I wouldn't say it's pleasant ways they're exchanging. Yeah. 
It's going to be a 45, which Brian Sheehan will kick anyway. Teams level, as you can see. Dublin 9, Kerry 1, 6. He's got two points so far, one of them from a free. So with the 54th minute, can he edge Kerry in front again? He's given it everything, his technique is brilliant. Wonderful straight line and over the bar. Well, do you remember last year in the All-Ireland Final with Daniel Golding, he got 3.45 in the second half and it was the difference between winning and losing the All-Ireland Final. Sheehan today has been superb on occasion from long range kicks. Billy McMahon, Keen O'Sullivan, both sides have had their moments in this final. But it's now there to be determined. Back once again to Philly McMahon. Kevin McManaman looking for possession, looking to take off, and he's left it behind. Barry Cowell tries to help him, but Kerry were there in numbers, and Darren O'Sullivan picking it up. Good control, moving it smartly as far as Paul Galvin. They can play it along the line or go forward. They've only got Kieran Donaghy waiting inside. There's a huge gap between the middle third and Donaghy on his own inside in the large square. And Kerry hold it. Dublin have two markers against Donaghy. All this while, further in towards goal. Barry John Keane. Now Kerry can break. Darren O'Sullivan hold down. And it's Mac Bellaman who's hold him down. And it's going to be a free kick. And the referee might have a few words with uh, the substitute for Dublin. That was an unfortunate free kick from a Dublin point of view to, con to concede. Kevin McMenamin noted as a forward, just panics a little bit and takes down Darren O'Sullivan necessarily and gives a good opportunity again to Sheehan to put it over the bar. Well, obviously tackling not his strong suit and uh, the referee is going to give him a yellow card. So now we've got four yellow cards against Dublin players. I you remember in the game against Cork last year, it was stupid frees conceded late in the game when Dublin played Cork, I think, that actually resulted in their ultimate defeat. That's right, their discipline left them down in the last ten minutes of that, you're quite right. It'll be Brian Sheen to kick it, to add to the three points he's got so far. Inside the D, straight as a die and up and over. Another one for Kerry. And now they lead by two, 1-8 to nine points. There's 14 minutes left. And Dublin went short. The referee is holding up the play. Kieran Donaghy lamenting that his shot isn't going to count. Ono is coming on for Dublin, number 20. And going off will be Barry Cahill. That's three changes now made by the Dublin management team to try and get the chemistry right in this final phase of the match to try and engineer the victory. Dublin are two behind. Thomas O'Shea again. The lead has changed hands in this match five times so far. It's won by Kerry. Keane. In went the boot that time of Michael Darrell McCauley. That's a free kick against him and against Dublin and as you were saying Martin they've got to be careful now they're still in there in the hunt for the Sam Maguire Cup in a very meaningful way but they can't lose their composure well, yeah. Kerry haven't been in eight All-Ireland finals in the last 10 years and not learned something about how to control games when they get a couple of points in front and just that little bit of inexperience in Dublin's part is becoming is manifesting itself now in the way they're conceding unnecessary free kicks within scoring distance in particular when you've a player of Brian Sheen's calibre to take long range kicks Dublin Hatch fans fans pray lament mistakes and wonder what's going to happen next oh dear well, take a look, this is what's going to happen. Brian Sheehan's going to try and kick this one from 50 metres out. It's one of the uh, great at carry of God, free takers of the calibre of Cooper and Sheehan. And Sheehan with the capacity usually to hit them from a fair old distance out. Start of this championship campaign, Brian Sheehan with a couple of goals against Tipperary and Kalani. Now at the end of the voyage, barring a replay, this to try and put his team three ahead. 12 minutes left. Stopped on the line by Cluxton, an important intervention. Back out as far as Kevin Nolan. All blocked. Gooch got Cooper got there. Nolan recovers. 
and then has the presence of mind to pick out Philly McMahon. And Dublin set off again. Connolly's come deep inside his own 65 metre line. Work to do from here. A couple of players to aim at. One of them, Kevin McMenamin, against Aidan Omani, trying to skin him. Succeeds. Hit poorly with the left. Straight to Keeley. Good precise fall out as far as Barry John Keane. And the counter attack now led by Marco Shea. Ostensibly the fullback. Nolan tries to stop him. Doesn't put pay to his gallop. It's still O'Shea. Now Galvin. And once again, Declan O'Sullivan played a major role in Kerry's performance this afternoon. Killian Young. Looking for it here is Owen Brosnan. Now missed the final in 09 against Cork. Barry John Keane. Galvin fisting it, but poorly fisting it, he gives the ball away. And that kind of turnover now could lead to a possible Dublin move at the other end. If they can get the ball, they've lost it. Darren O'Sullivan, pulled down. Oh dear. Well, that kind of impetuosity is exactly the thing that Pat Gilroy doesn't need at this stage. As you could see there, Keen O'Sullivan diving in on top of the man, man who blocked a a real goal chance by Donaghy in the first half has given away a free kick here in an eminently scorable position. Yeah, I've admired Dublin's tenacity throughout, but tenacity has to be balanced with a huge discipline and a cool head. And, you know, presence of mind is so important between now and the final whistle, in particular when you're in a defensive situation and when you are, you know, in a danger of conceding frees within kickable distance. And that time, that was crazy on the part of Keane O'Sullivan. So, Jack O'Connor with problems to address. He's uh, got to make sure that his team stay focused at this stage, not relax at any stage in the game. Keane O'Sullivan about to be yellow carded. So another one seen yellow. The major problems, however, are Pat Gilroy's. Free kick coming up this time to be taken by Colum Cooper. A goal and a point already in this match. That's four goals he's scored in all Ireland finals. And now a point to go with that. A goal and two for Cooper. And Kerry fans are already contemplating taking the San Maguire Cup back home with them to Killarney tomorrow night. Donaghy pulling the jersey of Fitzsimons. Off goes Ger Brennan. Here's Connolly. An attempt to take him down the first time. Declan O'Sullivan after him. Galvin in with the challenge. Ball handed on the ground. And it's a free kick to Kerry. Dublin are making an awful lot of mistakes at the moment. I think they've expended so much energy in the context of the defensive work that they're now running into a little bit of energy deficit and just conceding frees that they wouldn't have done earlier on in the match. Three-point gap. Again, it's Killian Young. Sheehan takes it down. Swiftly forward there as far as Tomas O'Shea. Sheehan again. Chipping it into space. Keane's there for it. Barry John Keane. Kerry's a rally man. Sets off past Fitz Simons. Where's that going to end up? It's whoop. just outside. Close. Not quite close enough, however. Yeah, it was an ambitious shot by a young lad, but it must be said he was very unlucky that time. It just drifted off at the last minute. I thought he had nailed it. And Dublin about to make another change. And uh, Eamon Fennell is coming to midfield, going off. Dennis Bastic. It's a particular Dublin policy to freshen up midfield, but they need a lot of freshening up because Colin Coop 